So throughout the week, uh, we are giving you a preview of our next Hometown Proud series, right? This Friday is our hour-long special featuring Red River Gorge. So if you're looking for fun and adventure in the great outdoors, you're going to want uh, the perfect place to stay as well, right? So here is a look inside, a preview of that special for Friday. This is a look inside some of the most scenic cabins in the area. Well, Nancy Hammond, you are the founder owner of Scenic Cabin Rentals, and I think you have done an amazing job picking the classic picturesque place here at Red River Gorge for us to, to get to know you all a little bit better. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. We think so, too. This is our cabin called Clifftop Haven. It's in Deerwater Lake in Cliffview, and it has super amenities, three bedrooms, two bath, and this beautiful view. I was going to say, this porch is everything. I bet when people come here, they're like, okay, this is the spot. This yes, is where we're going to hang out. It's a great spot. Like I said, we have weddings occasionally here, but yeah. it's just a fantastic family getaway. Bring your family here and enjoy all the amenities and just being outside. You know, your business, you're very proud that it is a family business. Yes, and 20 plus years now, uh, why 20 plus years ago did you want to get into this industry? Well, I actually fell into it. It was a big accident. Uh, I was a working professional in he health care, and we bought a little cabin here at an auction, the original auction. Well, the original developer went bankrupt a couple years later. So, when you buy a cabin, you normally need to rent it out to yeah. make the payments. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I quickly threw up one page website, Scenic Cabin, that's dot com. <laughs> so that's how Easy it started. Easy to remember. Yeah. I had one cabin, scenickcabin.com. But in the meantime, when we bought in here, I had met other people who had bought in here and I created a homeowners association. So when the original developer went bankrupt, they're like, oh my gosh, Nance, can, can you help me out? Can you help me out? I'm like, well, I can try, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So, yeah, from that one now to what? Close about 53. 53. But I had to go back and get my real estate license, become a real estate broker, you know, in order to do this business. But that's what I chose to do. And how would you kind of describe your space? And because there's lots of cabins here, and everything I mean does everything have this beautiful view or are they all unique and different how would you describe it? I would say they're all kind of unique and different we have a lot of cabins that have beautiful views but they're all not cliff top views some are just heavily forested with trees all around others might be a cliff line view like of a mountain range something like that and others are on the pond we have several beautiful ponds in here and a lot of people like to fish and, and you've they just made like it, water they like the water they, they like, like the water. views but no, you've had some concerns about, it's great that you have all the development in Red River Gorge. Love that, but you know, how much is too much? You wanna make sure you're protecting the natural habitat that, that makes this place so unique. Well, that is a problem of late because the growth has been exponential and it's just getting so overdeveloped in certain areas. Even a lot of these cabin development areas, are, developers are putting in way too small a lot, you know, so there's cabin after cabin being built and the infrastructure here just doesn't, can't keep up. Like in Wolf County, there's no more city water. You have to build a well. The roads are very narrow. You can't expand the roads or make them any wider because you're either up against a cliff or, you know, a mountain range. So there's a small group of people that are very concerned about too much overdevelopment too quickly. Yeah. You know, we'd like to see slower, sustainable, small business growth over time. And people who want to be good stewards of the land and the natural resources here and our gorge and our views, we want tree huggers, <laughs> you know, we want environmentalists. And uh, a lot of us anyhow, not everybody, a lot of people love uh, all this progress, but uh, the big thing you hear all the time, we don't want a Gatlinburg, <laughs> we don't need Gatlinburg here. So that's the concern. And our series is called Hometown Proud. Right. Why are you proud to do business in Red River Gorge? Because I fell in love with it. I mean, I moved my whole family here, my life here, you know, and left Cincinnati and came here because I am a tree hugger and I like hiking and I love just the views. So uh, we want to promote small businesses. Our scenic cabin rentals office is in our coffee shop, Daniel Boone Coffee Shop. We highlight local artisan products, Kentucky Proud products, Kentucky coffees. Again, it's about trying to support what I call the small guy, you know, the, the per person trying to make a living. And so if people want to support the small guy, support the local businesses, where should they go for more information? 
Uh, they could go to, we have a group called Red River Gorge United, mm -hmm. and it's a, a small group of concerned citizens and business owners who are looking for some help to people with time, talent, or their treasure, so that we can try to promote saving the gorge and keeping it wild. Our slogan is going to be, please keep it wild. You know, we don't want it to be overdeveloped. So it's rrgunited.org and you can see our website and there's all kinds of information on that. All right, Nancy, thanks for showing me around. Okay, thank you.